Hello beautiful souls, it's Carol at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm here for pick a read pick a par reading. What does your divine masculine want you to know right now? So we've got three piles. So we've got the the blue crystal, bluey purple crystal, green crystal, pile two, and pile three is the rose quartz crystal so pick your pile and we'll get started hello pile one you chose the bluey purple crystal there so let's get your messages from your masculine so we've got movement choices decisions destiny obstacles and challenges financial material changes patience Prosperity begins, moving on, material and spiritual prosperity, foundation and achievements, partnership and alliances. So we're going to clarify these, let's move these out of the way. So let's clarify these. So the first card is movement choices decisions. So it looks like to me the masculine has a choice to make. He needs to make a choice moving forward where he wants to go in his life. So why is that card here? We've got the Ace of Roses, which is the Ace of Cups. So he's feeling the love here. He's feeling the love. This is self-love, I think. But he also has love for his feminine here. And he wants to make a choice with love. You know, make that choice with love. Because we've got destiny here in the number 10. So he feels this is a destined connection here. And we've got eight of roses. Somebody could have walked away. That could be you feminines. Maybe you walked away from this masculine before. Because, you know, he couldn't commit to you. It wasn't the sort of connection you wanted at that time. And we've got obstacles and challenges. So there's been obstacles and challenges in this connection here. But we've got the judgment card. So I do think this divinely guided connection. Things had to happen in a certain way. Okay, for you to come back together. There was a period of separation needed. We've got financial material changes here. I feel there's been, number five. I feel there's been difficulties with finances. This could be on both sides. And your masculine could have been focusing on the 3D to do his finances. But we've got the Knight, Knight of Coins that energy here. So I do feel he's really worked hard on his finances and he's in a good financial place. And the Knight of Coins energy is that solid energy, but it's slow moving energy. And when they come forward, they're not going to change their mind. That's something they've been thinking about for some time. So the slow moving energy towards you. So you're needing patience. We've got patience here. You're needing patience. And this is one of the spiritual lessons. You know, it can be hard, you know, to have patience sometimes. Why is patience here? So that could be like the temperance card as well. You know, like to have that balance within yourselves. Why is patience here? Wow, we've got the emperor. So I feel he's working up to becoming the emperor. He's working on himself to become that emperor, to become that divine masculine that you deserve as the empress. And we've got prosperity begins. So yes, finances have improved here. And, you know, there's a tree with roots. So I feel despite the separation, there's been roots grown in this connection. You're still connected and you're growing that foundation. So why is that here? Yeah, you've both been through a lot with the Ten of Rods. You've been had burdens, obstacles, as we saw. There's been a lot to cope with. But the Ten is the end of that cycle. So you're coming out of that, that difficult period. And we've got moving on. Yes, you're moving away from that past energies of struggles, strife, obstacles. So why is that here? Ace of Swords, there's, there's going to be truth, there's going to be clarity coming in here. And we've got material and spiritual prosperity. So yes, 
again, you know, not only is it financial prosperity, but the spiritual prosperity, because your masculine is doing that work, he's really working on himself right now. And we've got Knight of Sabres energy. So the Knight of Sabres is air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it can be fast moving energy, you know, wanting to come in quickly. So you may get a fast communication coming in. And we've got foundation and achievements. As I said, you've been building this foundation with this card. And this is the home, the family. Look at the beautiful rainbow. This is like the four of wands energy. You know, you're building that foundation. You're wanting to build a beautiful life together here. And he sees you as the queen of coins. Somebody, again, that you're financially stable in your own life. You know, you're kind, you're nurturing, you're loving. You make a good wife and mum. He sees you in that energy. And he wants this partnership. He wants this alliance with you. He wants to work together with you. And in the past, there's been, there could have been, there could have been deceits, lies, um, because somebody wasn't telling the truth. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, because somebody was indecisive about their feelings, I feel. But we got the priest energy. That's the Hierophant energy. That is about spirituality. That is about tradition that is about commitment so i do feel they're now wanting that commitment because they spent time alone they went within and they've got that enlightenment of what they truly want in their life any other messages here we got the world card so yes it's the start of a brand new cycle a new phase and we got the star card so after a period of feeling the wish fulfillment you know you are going to be each other's wish fulfillment coming in i believe so let's get your additional messages so we've got sagittarius i see so what i'm getting with that is this person as i said they they were in the hermit energy and they got that enlightenment they're seeing the truth of this situation now we've got palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance and flexibility so we saw that you know there's going to be this stability you know there's financial security there's growth there's flexibility in this connection and yes you've been in a period of separation you've been sad you've both been yearning for each other not knowing what the future may bring and clarity is coming in we ha we saw that with the swords uh, the ace of swords you're going to get the truth a revelation coming in and the phoenix so the, a new phase new phase coming in rekindling a transformation change mind so your person has had that awareness of what this connection is and there's going to be a rekindle or renewal of this connection i feel so the message is you are limitless you can do anything you choose so and look at that we've got the two swans can't believe that you see the swans there? That's the twin flame sign. So definitely a twin flame connection in the number four again, stability. So you're definitely going to be building something stable between you. And we've got practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. So I do feel your masculine has really started to see himself with compassion. I think he was hard on himself and others. And he's seeing things from a new perspective now. And he wants to know, are you ready for love, this you and me? So he's ready to begin this. And he wants to be back in your arms, hold you in his arms again. And he's had secret longings. I'm sure this is mutual as well. You've both been wanting the other person. And you want to love each other through the night. You want to have that intimacy. And he's been waiting for a girl like you. He's wanted you for so long. And he's just come into that awareness. Because you realised when you were gone that it was a lost love. And he wants to love you, commit to you, commit to this love. Beautiful. So let's get your final energies. So we've got dream big. So dream big for yourself. Be positive. Be positive about your life and your expectations. Commit to yourself. You know, commit to what you truly deserve and desire. And new opportunities on the horizon. And you deserve all good in your life. And it looks like good is coming in 
it looks like there's going to be a reconciliation coming in for you in this pile so i hope you enjoyed that part one thank you for watching hello pile two you chose the green crystal so let's get your messages so we've got courage discovery the loving man friends and colleagues loss joyous fun deserving status quo healing light the loving woman transformation and milestone so we're going to clarify all these with the tarot so the first card we've got is courage and somebody's dressed like a knight a knight in shining armor and i feel they want to be like this for you they want to be your knight in shining armor they feel you they've let you down and they know they need courage to come forward they want to try and find that courage to come forward so why is this here We've got Seven of Cups energy. So they were confused in the past. They weren't seeing clearly, okay, about what it was that this connection was about. And we've got Discovery. So, yeah, they discovered the gold. The man is panning for gold. They discovered the gold. That is this connection. That is their Divine Feminine. Wow. And they want to offer their cup of love. We've got the Two of Cups here. They want to offer their cup of love. They want to exchange cups of love here. And you can see the loving man, he's in touch with his feelings, he's aware of his feelings, he wants to make that romantic gesture. He's got a bunch of flowers there and he's in the sunlight. And judgment is here. You know, this is what's destined for you, this is what's meant to happen. And we've got friends and colleagues, so maybe before there was lots of distractions um, for you both. You know, with work situations, friends situations you know, sort of stopping this connection moving forward. We've got King of Wands energy. So your most thing could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The King of Wands is somebody that is passionate, they're driven, he could have his own business. You know, they go after what they want and this is the energy that's coming through. He's going after it. He wants to come forward and express his love here. Because they feel felt the loss of their feminine here. We've got the loss card. They've really felt the loss of this connection and their feminine. And we've got four of swords. Yeah, they've had to spend time. They've retreated. They've done some healing. They've really gone within to heal, them, heal their heart here. And they want to have joyous, fun times. You know, we've got a beautiful image of people at the fairground with the balloons all the bright colours. They maybe they want to take you to a fairground and, and have some light hearted fun together. Because we've got eight of cups energy. So possibly feminines you maybe you walked away in the past because this person wasn't, you know, offering you their cup of love at that time. So you walked away. And the person I feel your masculine didn't feel deserving actually of your love. We got deserving. And I feel the energy was he, he didn't feel deserving at that time, but he's now in that energy of feeling deserving of love. And we've got five of swords. Yeah, there was a lot of conflict here about feeling, you know, between head and heart, whether he felt deserving. So why is the five of swords here? Five of wands, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there was a lot of unsettled energy. There was a lot of internal struggles, shall I say, going on. But we've got status quo, so he's I feel he's coming to balance in his own energy now. He's feeling balanced, he's he's feeling aware. And we've got six of coins, wow. So yeah, that is the energy of, of balance, you know, the equal give and take. He's in that energy of knowing that, you know, to have this sort of relationship, he needs to be in the energy of give and take. And we've got healing light, so I do feel he's had some healing here. He's really gone through some sort of healing. So why is that here? Nine of Swords. Yeah, so he's been through difficult times. He's been through worry, anxiety, depression, maybe sleepless nights. But the Nine, you're nearly at the end of that cycle. Why is the Nine of Swords here? 
So there will be movement forward here. There's going to be movement forward. And we've got the loving woman. So we've got the loving man and the loving woman. He sees you as his counterpart. You know, he sees the love you have and he feels deserving of that love now. And we've got the ten of coins. So he's wanting that, you know, home, family, that abundance of love, family, finances. He's wanting that with his feminine. Because he's been through a transformation, okay? And this connection has been through a transformation. And he's holding the image there, holding a scroll. I feel they've done some learning. They've they've gained knowledge, spiritual insights here. We've got the devil energy. I feel there was devil energy here. Um, it could have been addictions or codependent behaviour, okay? And this person has gone through a transformation. So why is the devil here? We've got the full energy. So they want to put the past behind them. They want to take that leap of faith into the future. And to me, this card always reminds me of the Ace of Cups. It says Milestone. I feel this is the Ace of Cups because we've got the Two of Cups there and this is a brand new beginning in love. That's what they're wanting with their feminine. Wow. And we've got the Emperor energy here. Okay. So he's coming into his Divine Masculine energy. Any other messages? Wow, we've got the star energy. So this is a, a wish fulfillment after a period of healing. You've both been doing the healing work here. So let's get your additional messages. So we've got Saturn return, age 50. So some of you could be in your 50s. But what stands out to me is the green, the colour of the heart chakra. I feel there's been a heart awakening. And Saturn return is when the significant events happen in your life at various stages of your life. So this could apply to you. We've got Chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. So we had that devil energy. So there could have been a runner chaser dynamic. There could have been a codependent dynamic. And that's why you had to go into separation because you both had abandonment issues. Snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So for some of you, there could have been a third party. There could have been someone else. Maybe you hadn't detached from someone else or, or, or you hadn't. And we've got date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. I feel this is him wanting to set a date with you, to be honest. But you may be feminine. You may be dating other people at this time. I don't know. Obviously, it's different for everybody. But, you know, hopefully you've not remained waiting for the masculine. But I do feel he wants to set a date and plan a date with you. And we've got keys on a ring, options, decision, unconventional, one night stand. So maybe this started off as a one night stand connection and it led, led to feelings getting involved. And this person, you know, had lots of options. You may have had lots of options and they couldn't make a decision at the time. As I say, they've been through an awakening. They've really become clear now on what it is they want. So we've got to have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So look at all the beautiful butterflies. There's definitely a big transformation going on in this connection right now. And we've got embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and to be accepted. So I feel he's really very much getting in touch with his feelings, his emotions right now. So what else have we got? So he wants romantic times with you. He wants to just be you and him under the stars, holding you in his arms. We've got a lope, just you two, just us two, you and me together. So maybe for some of you, that, that's what's in, on their mind about eloping, running away. Yeah, wounded heart, heartbreak, it's over. So, you know, one or both of you really got a wounded heart in this connection. Okay, a lot of heartbreak, heart and loss. But they, the masculine is confessing this is true love. I love you more than you know. So they have love in their heart for you. And they're lost without you. They've missed you. They daydream about you. They're serious about you. And they want to be bold and make that move, that romantic offer. As I said at the very beginning, there's the night. <laughs> there he is on his horse. And he wants to offer you that 
that cup, that cup of love. So what are the messages? So he's really feeling your energy, your feminine energy, really is feeling connected to you. And he's believing in magic right now. And he has that self-belief. And he is seeing things from different points of view now. He's really had time to reflect on that. And there's going to be a positive outcome for you on the horizon. So beautiful energies there, Paul two. So I hope you enjoyed that. Many blessings. Hello, Paul three. You chose the rose quartz crystal. So I've got the cards out. So we're going to clarify these of the tarot to make some more sense of it. So the first message is reach out. So I do think he's contemplating reaching out your masculine to you right now. So why is reach out here? We've got the chariot. Yeah, he, he definitely wants to move forward with this connection. And we've got believe and succeed. So he's really having that belief in himself here. And... He wants to move away from the past. Eight of Swords. But in the moment, he's stuck up in his head here. Um, he's stuck up in his thoughts. Yeah, daydreams and decisions. So he's really stuck up in his head right now. So why is that here? Seven of Coins. So I feel he's been working hard in the 3D. He's really been focusing on his finances. Because he wants to have something to show for it. He wants to have... This whole harvest, this abundance to show you um, before coming forward. He wants to feel good about himself as the provider. And he's had periods of feeling helpless and hopeless here in this connection. But you can see the sun is in the distance there. Why is that here? Four of coins. Yeah, he felt he wasn't feeling that he could give. You know, he held on to what he had. He wasn't very giving. He was holding on tight to what he had. He'd, he didn't share... And this is about his emotions. He wasn't sharing his emotions. And we've got strengthening bonds. So he wants to strengthen this bond with his feminine here. Because she is his wishful feminine. We've got the nine of cups. He wants, you know, he wants his wish. He wants his dream. And he's healing right now. He's healing himself. So why is that here? Five of wands. So yeah, there's been conflict. There's... You know, within himself, internally, I feel. And we've got seek the truth. Yeah, he's been seeking the truth within. He may be connecting to his intuition, his higher self right now. And we've got five of cups energy. So there's sadness over the past, over past um, lost loves. And, you know, he's like going within to really think about that to work out what happened in those past connections because he has love <coughs> he has love simply love he's simply feeling the love and we've got the green of the heart chakra so i do feel he's opening up his heart chakra here and we've got the moon energy the moon energy is about your feelings so i feel the moon energy has really helped him to tap into his emotions his feelings and we've got feeling alone yeah he's feeling that loss of the feminine He's had time alone to think things through, as I say, to contemplate. Because maybe feminine, you walked away. We've got the Eight of Cups here. Because this connection wasn't giving you what you needed at the time. And we've got win or lose. So he knows he has to come forward with the truth. I see that as a sort of truth and there's a beautiful heart in there. And he knows he has to be honest about his feelings. You know, he has to dare to be honest, win or lose. He's got to take that risk. Wow, we've got the Emperor. I think it's come out in every reading. So the masculine is getting into that divine masculine energy. He's going to be in that energy when he comes forward. He's going to be the ultimate divine masculine. And because he wants to feel worthy of your love as the Empress, the divine feminine. And he knows he has to confront his past, I see that as like inner child wounds. He may have had to look at past issues with his childhood, with his family, and do that healing work on that. And we've got Ace of Wands because he wants that passionate brand new beginning here. And he knows that he is worthy, that well-deserved reward. He knows he's worthy. 
He's worked hard to achieve something here. We've got Nine of Swords energy though, so he's had periods of feeling anxious, depressed, worry. But the Nine, you're coming out of that energy. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Wow, we've got King of Cups. So, yeah, he could be a water sign, but he's now in touch with his feelings. He may not have expressed that to you yet, but I feel he wants to. And he's really feeling those feelings right now. Wow, yeah, we've got love. Love abounds. He has love here. We've got King of Wands energy. So there's love and passion here in this connection. And he wants to come together with his feminine, express his love here. And it looks like a gift, doesn't it, of a pearl. The pearl of wisdom, you know, he's, he's gained wisdom here. Wow. And he wants that new beginning in love with his feminine. He wants that, that new beginning. So what other messages? Fourth house roots. He wants to put down roots. He wants to have stable foundation. And he wants these roots to, you know, be solid with his feminine. To have a solid recommencement. And maybe he was in the runner energy before in, and this was codependent. He had a fear of intimacy and he was in his ego. But we've got dragonfly energy, lightheartedness, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change and heal. So we saw that in the cards. He's been through changes. He's seeing the light. He's done that healing work on himself. And we've got butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing in the child growth, exactly what I said. He's done that healing on his inner child. And we've got engagement ring, wow. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So in this card, you could see that as like a ring. I mean, it's it's large, but it's, it's like an image of a ring, if you like. So what other messages? Look to your inner strength. You're stronger than you realise. So... I feel you both realise how strong you are. You've really overcome a lot of challenges, um, you know, individually and in, in the connection. And it is the number 11. So you are both stronger for this connection. And we've got spiritual connection. A relationship is a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So I feel that you're both aware that you've had many past lives together because you are connected at the soul energy there. So what other energies have we got? Yeah, soul ties, soul contract. This is a, a contract you've had for many centuries. And you could, you know, be friends right now, but, but there is love. You want this to be love. And it's twin flames. You're feeling this connection. And there's a lot of passion and desire and love here. And this person has been loyal to you, and I'm sure you've been loyal to them as well. You've been loyal to each other in this period of separation. And he felt broken. He, he When you've gone, he realised that he missed you, okay, that you were his love. And you are everything to him. And he wants to kiss and make up and make out with you. And he knows this is soulmate love, destiny meant to be. So what final messages do we have? The place in between, that's where you are right now. You're on two sides, but the gap will, you know, you will close that gap. And you mirror each other's energies here. And he's really feeling your energy. You're in that Empress energy. And as I say, he's in that Divine um, Masculine. He's in that Emperor energy. And two become one. So this is a beautiful union that's going to happen here, I feel. So there are your messages, pile three. So thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Bye for now.